Dancing with the Homeless won't be seen tonight, so we can bring you the following special. But first, a word from our sponsors. You know, after a long 16-hour shift of wiping the asses of others, I need something that'll keep mine fresh. That's why I use Clintlets. For the woman on the go, this new dissolving vaginal chewing gum keeps a girl fresh. Have that kitty purring instead of hissing at you. <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing? Hey, babe. Man, you smell good. You just getting in or you getting off? <laughs> I can get off. <laughs> Clitlets. Clitlets, the new dissolving chewing gum for vaginas. For that woman on the go, pop a Clitlet no one would know. The No Cap Podcast is here to let you know that all views and opinions are just that, views and opinions. These are comics having fun and poking fun at the things that happen in real world. So, we are no way, shape, or form cyberbullying or any stupid shit like that. To anybody else, enjoy the show. All you bitch-ass, bitch-ass niggas and the rest, fuck off. Oh, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing, all you pimps and pimpettes? Hoes and hoe-ass niggas. It's me, Pimpy T, letting y'all know we're about to get this show on the road. But before we do, make sure y'all push that like button for anything that you like. And make sure y'all smash that subscribe button so y'all can always keep up with your boy on podcasts, little short films, and whatever we else we might load up right here at the Pimpy T Playhouse. And well, without further ado, let's get into it, bitch. Right here, no cap, with me, Pimpy T. <laughs> this is a Pippi T's Playhouse production. You see this old wannabe pimp looking dude on oh, yeah? the fly, man? The- you don't know nothing about Pimpy T, huh? You just talking out the side of your neck. Ooh. If Pippi T was here right now, he'll slap you for the disrespect. You better calm down. Mm-hmm. Boy, you better pump your brain. Before I dial him up one time and have him right here, live in your face. Who is the man with the master plan? You can have on. Hey, what's going on with all the pimps and pimpettes? Holes and whole ass niggas. Welcome to another No Cap Podcast with me, Pippi T. Well, we live, love, and laugh. Remember to laugh at the struggle. That way you ain't got to worry about the trouble. He'll give you double for it. You better believe. Hey, this is another no cap. So let's go ahead and get with it, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got chocolate to eat, bottle to pre. You know what I'm saying? Got cups to sip and, you know what I'm saying, splits to roll and go ahead and get it old. Got a great show for you tonight. So better believe we're going to get into it without a dot damn dot. I got a little cup in my goddamn hand to fill up some gin and I'll make you sin. And I'm ready to get in, get it in. Cause I got my little freaky tails coming over my night bar. I'm about to bend it and win it and get wet it. You feel me? Look here, man. So let's get with the goddamn show. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to wait too long. You know how booty do. Booty evaporating. Go find some more booty. I need my booty. Just saying. So. Let's get into the show tonight. And first off in the show, we're going to talk about the Jaguar. <laughs> I think we're doing too much. Look here. We talking about Jaguar in the game. And Miss Jaguar uh, was the lady who went quiet in and put anger of her son all on her face. Uh, and wouldn't beat the shit out of her husband with another nigga that she met in the coat. It was on something. Whatever that, if she said it, said they was his own life, nigga. That nigga was on something. Whatever y'all in hell, nigga, was in hell. Yeah, that way y'all was, y'all was in hell. Because that shit had some shit on your mind. It had so much shit on your mind, they came to scoop your crazy ass up and took it to a mental war. Yeah, that's what they did. Because your ass lost your goddamn mind. So they had to come and scoop your ass up. Put you on the guard and take your motherfucking ass off to the crazy world so they can get your mind right. Put a little dope up in you, a couple of pills that your ass needed from the get go. Yeah, you would end up with that old crazy motherfucker who was from that, that coat land. Yeah, yeah. 
And y'all was talking about how another nigga a rapist and come to find out you a part of a cult of a nigga that got a whole rapist in the penitentiary right now. Y'all just chilling, y'all just doing coke shit, y'all wasn't doing too much, just, just doing some drugs and had your mind fucked up to go whoop your husband and wrap ashes on your face and then act a complete damn fool. Yeah, man, nigga, I don't know what you're doing, but don't do it no more. As you can see, they come and scoop your ass up if you're out there looking a goddamn fool. Me, I'm like, why advertise the credit? I don't have no idea. When does, when in people's health situation become uh, entertainment? I never understood. When did somebody going through a crisis become a part of a situation that is okay to say some crazy shit about? I just think to me, I mean, I'm just saying, this is my opinion. I think it's just time to wake the fuck up, people. Uh, and just take this shit serious when it comes to mental health. Cause mental health shit is on the rise if y'all pay attention. There's so many people going through so much on the inside, they don't know how to bring it out. So much social anxiety because all this crazy stuff going on in the world and y'all just out here acting a goddamn fool and ain't got no reason to. Just take your goddamn medicine. So. You think you crazy. It's some real motherfuckers out there that got the crazy dying pack. Some professional crazies. So I think what you need to do is stop playing with your life and realize what's important and then start working on the important shit and leave that bullshit alone. You know what I mean? You just press out and you're already on the internet talking some crazy shit. And I think you're supposed to be paying attention to how lucky you got it that you ain't in the pen, you ain't in the jail cell. Because if that was a nigga that did all that shit, to their wife, two shots to the forehead. Did he die yet? Two more to the gut. You understand what I'm saying? That that would have been an outcome for a man, a black man. They were gonna shoot your ass first. That motherfucker was crazy. You seen him? He was foaming at the mouth and shit. No, they said he was having a psychotic break. I don't give a fuck. That nigga was crazy. Had to shoot him, man. I want that nigga to put that crazy on me. You seen the zombie apocalypse, man? The motherfucker go crap. Now look, man. If they am serious, but that's what we would have got. So I'm a little biased about all this shit, but at the same time, I'm glad you got your health together because that's the most important part. You know what I'm saying? Finding your, your right mind and keeping yourself on that medicine that got you on. Because <clears throat> as you can see, it's so easy to lose you. You know, at a snap of your finger, you could be two different niggas at the same time. So I applaud the help that you got. I applaud them for helping you. I applaud for yourself for receiving it and understanding that you needed it. And now that you all patched up for the most part, I hope you find the turn, take this journey and do something different than what I seen tonight on that uh, show with the old boy there. I forgot the name of that show. But they were talking, you know what I'm saying? You were up there talking about how you just got out and quietly this and quietly that. That shit is unimportant. That shit is really not important at all. The fact that I just got out and I need some rest, I need to rest my mind, my thoughts, and my whole being, I need to a break from this, this this internet, and I just need to be have some me time. That's what you should have did. But you couldn't wait to get on this motherfucker to tell the world what you went through. And we, uh, for the most part, we appreciate it because it gives some of us come say on a commentary to talk about whatever it is and say whatever we got to say. But at the same time, I feel like it's a very uh, uh, irresponsible of you to you because you're not giving you a good service. You're not doing you a good service. You're not giving yourself a break from it all so you can recuperate and come out in a in a better playing position because right now, I don't know what you're playing, but it ain't working. Oh, it ain't working. And I, 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 and I pray for you because you, just like you had the first or this one, you can have another one because you're putting yourself out there for people to say things that they want to say. And sometimes you don't, you, don't, you don't take it as well. And the result is what it is. So I'm praying that you get your shit together. I'm glad you went and got the help uh, through the way of crazy and sane. And the little nigga that was with you with that was part of a cult that you said you were just trying to help. How in the hell you were trying to help somebody 
And you couldn't need much help. You motherfucker, you this bound. You needed the goddamn help. How you gonna help a nigga with, with, when when help is needed by the nigga that's putting out the help? Talk about I was there to help the kid. with well, shit, you wasn't doing a good job, motherfucker. <laughs> no motherfucker needs the protection from you as far as I'm concerned. Shit, you was drowning, boo. And didn't even must know it. Drowning, talking about blah, 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 drowning, nigga. And didn't even must know you was drowning. I'm just saying. But now that you're uh, back on solid ground, uh, I think what you need to do is put away the childish game and pick up something different and come at it where you can learn somebody a good lesson about the mental status and what they need to do in case of an emergency and how if they don't got help to go get it right now because help is what you really need and get the right medicine in you so you can balance out that in chemical or that unchemical balance, whatever the fuck, that chemical balance that you got going on because nigga, if you're fucked up, you're fucked up. And you gotta first admit that I'm fucked up and I need help right now because I can't wait later. I might not be here. Might be too short to be out here playing with your mental status and thinking it's okay for a couple of hits, a couple of likes, a couple of dollars. You are worth more than that. So make sure that your purpose is something beautiful instead of something crazy just because you want a couple of dollars for right now. Man. I, I'm, I don't understand it, and I don't want to. And speaking of, I really don't. And speaking of crazy, let's go ahead and talk about the most craziest shit out there right now. That's right. And that's Blueface and Christian Rock. Yeah, Christian Rock, I'm sorry. It's fucking same shit, nigga. Goddamn. Look here, man. Don't motherfuckers to me don't need each other for a bunch of reasons. But now that that motherfucker is pregnant, I don't know what he really gonna do. I mean, she she seems like she uh might be might be a good woman, but it's gonna take a lot to re to reverse all that bullshit that she got in her right now. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of bullshit that need to be broken down, a lot of walls that are up, a lot of insecurities, and you know what I'm saying? A lot of uh. A lot of flashbacks of what she's been through in order to come to, that, to, come to where she at. And uh, one thing on her mind, honest and true, is that she don't want to lose the thing that made her her. But uh, some things are not for you. And some people, you know what I'm saying, you got to, once they all grow them, you know it. Because things like that, what they're going through, start to happen. And what you got to do is uh, realize that being on TV and all that, being in a toxic environment like that is just too much for your mind, body, and soul. You will start to not give a damn personally to the point that you don't give a damn if something happened to them right in front of your face. You won't even must think no, no, no two ways about it. It's off with her. Well, shit, that's not where we don't pay attention. You know what I'm saying? That's not the way to live. <laughs> so all I'm saying is, Man, if it ain't right, don't force it. And they, I just feel like their whole relationship is just forced, just for a fucking TV show. Just to get a couple thousand or whatever they fucking giving them for this TV show. And if it's worth that much, baby, then do you. But I say your dignity, I say your livelihood, your your essence, your your being is screaming for more and you don't know how to get to it because you're too busy wrapped up into the money situation because it's right there and it's so good to you. All the things you can do and more with the cash. And that honestly, that's cool. But deep down inside, it ain't cool because you'll never be what you're supposed to be because you're too busy reaching for bullshit and thinking that little bit of status is taking you up here, but it's really keeping you with the rest of them because you're chasing the same thing everybody else chasing. Instead of chasing your own dream. I mean, what's your own ambition? What, what the hell do you want to do with the life God gave you and the time that he given you to do so? What is your plan for the person that you look in the mirror when you smile back at the one that you're trying to get to another plateau? What is the plan for you? And if you don't know, 
go sit down and get your plan together so you can work on that plan to get you to the next level. Because if you don't, you're going to still be the nigga that you see every day and you're going to love that nigga or you're going to have to just do something else with the nigga. One thing for sure, you're going to have to deal with that nigga. And if you cool with what you see in the mirror, man, then hey, man, do you. And if you don't like what you see in the mirror, then you know what you got to do. It's, mo it's moving time. It don't start when you, when you want to. It starts right the fuck now. And that's the hardest part about doing anything in life. It starts right the fuck now. So get up, get out, and make money. That's all I'm saying. Because never the game has changed. When you got people that say they love you, but they slapping the shit the fuck out of you. I, man, she hit that nigga so many times, man. And one and then and then the, and then the hitting of a motherfucker upside the head with a motherfucking Hennessy bottle. I'm talking about let me vacuum the the glass fragments out your damn head. I was like, yo, enough is enough, bro, bro. And at some point, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and like, what am I doing with me? I literally don't love me. I got to not love me. Look what I'm doing. I'm allowing another human being to tear me down because they torn down. And I'm just, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. Acting like it don't even much exist, knowing deep down in my heart I'm hurt, I'm in pain, I'm frustrated. But who do I run to? Hey, man. My condolences to anybody <laughs> who is going through this situation right here who has somebody in their life, who love them but don't. Want the best for them, but they want the best for them that they want. Trying to fulfill needs uh, and, and, and desires of their own instead of y'all's. It's all about what they want to do for you, how they want to do this, and when they want to do this. How I talk to you is how I talk to you, nigga. You gonna call me a bitch when I'm acting like a bitch? I'm like, it don't make no sense. Then, then don't act like a bitch. If you know you got the type of nigga that's gonna call you out by who you say you are, by doing what you're doing, then why agitate that nigga? Why add on to your bitch? When you know he gonna call you what you looking like and what you acting like. I never understood the mindset of people, man. Why lead yourself to some shit when you already know that's that's just sit over there. And if I go over there, I know I'm stepping some shit. But yet you go the fuck over there. And when you step in the shit, you wanna hoop and holler when you knew it was shit over there. That, that, that what the, that's what you went over there for, the shit. Where you got it. You know, you see you crying and dying by and now. Wipe that shit out, shut the fuck up, and move on. But you wanna go over there like that no more, though. There's shit over there. <laughs> Wake up. Look here, Blue. Uh, you got, you know, she, you know, she's cute, man, and all that good shit, man, but she cock strong. You, know, you got the one in cock strong broad. You know what I'm saying? A, a vagina lips probably got muscles on them motherfuckers. Nigga, she probably, probably bench 250 with uh with both lips, nigga, and you know what I'm saying? Curl, curl 250, nigga, with both lips. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? You got, man, you got, you got some one. That's a whole motherfucking. I said, he, 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 he woman bitch. You know what I'm saying? She's pretty though, I ain't gonna lie. She's a pretty motherfucker. That motherfucker extra crispy on the violin. That's all. <laughs> and the violence outweighs the pretty all motherfucking day long. But if you like what you see, it ain't got nothing to do with me. That's you, baby. Keep getting them up and cussing them black eyes, my nigga. Yeah, keep getting them, them Hennessy bottles inside your head. Oops, Hennessy upside your head to say, oops, Hennessy on your head. I say, oops, Hennessy bottom on your head. I say, oops, upside your head. Vacuum glass about your head, bruh. Don't mind if I don't do, boo. <laughs> man, you don't stop playing with yourself, man. That's why my brother from that no jumper, man, was on your ass about this shit. He couldn't take it no more like my nigga. God damn, at some point, baby, you got to just say, man, I'm a whole Negro right here. I can't allow you to keep popping me in my motherfucking mind for the five, ten seconds. 
know what I'm saying? In public. So what if I act different in public? And he, he might do. But the point is, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Respect her in public, man. Look, I ain't got to do all the extra shit, man. We in public, God, man. Look, respect. I'm respect you. You respect me. And let's keep it 100. Instead, when you get in the public eye, you want to do that shit like, yeah, nigga, what now? You, why don't you do that shit you did at the high when I slapped you in the house? You punched me in my stomach. Like, you slapping me. And why you got to do all this hitting and, like, proving points? And I don't get the psyche. I really don't. And I pray for the baby. I pray for Boo. I pray for Hub. I pray for Boo. But he gonna have a triple trouble. That motherfucker gonna be all the way out of there, boy. Yeah. Now, you think it? You think it would be easier? Oh no, son. You got yourself a crazy, crazy. And she got a baby, baby. And you the daddy, daddy. And she love you, love you. Yeah. You ain't never coming outside, nigga. She about to hide your ass in one of them rooms like misery, nigga. Tie your ass to a motherfucking bed, nigga. Hang your ass in that bed looking crazy as hell. Somebody give me her. She broke both of my feet. I'm saying, uh-uh, nigga. Mm -mm. She broke both of my teeth. I ain't got no front teeth, nigga. Every time I talk, nigga, I'm making, I'm sound like I'm making F noises. Look. <laughs> you got you got you one. You got the right one, baby. Uh-huh. And uh, what you're going to have to do now is submit your will and just call it a day. You ain't going nowhere, boy. You done put your penis in something that you don't even must have but the slightest understanding of. This, this one right here is the one, son. And you got what you wanted. Congratulations. I pray for your blessings. I pray for your soul. I pray for your will. I pray for you to make it down the street in one piece without going crazy and jumping into traffic. <laughs> Cause this shit crazy, boy. You have, you have, boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy, imagine if you have a gun, nigga, you got Two of them to act like the five. Woo, boy, I'm telling you. That brother gonna be looking like a crackhead by the end of that damn, that damn year, boy. You gonna be some drug so goddamn ragged. I ain't even gonna get my drink, goddamn. I ain't. Oh, God, I was. Oh, God, I was sipping the gin to make a scene. And it's, I got a splash in there. A splash or whatever that grape juice is. And nigga, that gin on point. I'm being somebody's back in a minute. I'm digging somebody's girl's guts out. Sorry, boo. I am gonna skeet on your navel or your back. That's that's the new rule. Backs are better, fellas, and we damn a nerd. Uh, uh, you gonna be going raw dog, uh, bad back, uh, mountain. You better make sure it's a back or a better. And let them know, man. Put it on the way. If you want your back on your back, back, where you want that tonight? Let her choose. All you want to say, all you want on your leg, back. There ain't no thing. You know what I'm saying? Skeet on the leg, jump up, throw a little, little hot rag, and go on about your business, duck out. Another day, another dollar, another case to catch. <laughs> Leah, we're about to take a small commercial break. And go with some news you can lose. Oh, I must be fucked up. That damn shit got me on. Like I said, we about to take a commercial break and go with some news you can use with the one and only Dick Toucher. Hey, yo, Dick. Let's get with it, boy. Boy, this shit got me on. Now it's time for your anchor man. The one and only Dick Toucher. Right here, live. No cap news. Take it away, Dick. How you doing? Dick Toucher here, and welcome to No Cap News, the news you can use. And today in the news, look like actor Alec Baldwin will be charged with involuntary manslaughter after the arrest set incident. 
They said he's been locked up and reclusive with his family only after the incident, but now learned that he has to face the charges of doing uh, this. Are we doing this for real? Is that, is that right? It can't be right. Is it, is it really? Because if it was a black man, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, it looked like he would be doing only 120 days in the penitentiary. Also in the news, speaking of America, it looks like American Idol singer C.J. Harris died of a heart attack at the young age of 31. He'll be deeply missed by his friends, family, and all the loved ones who loved him dearly. And most importantly, the fans, because they have lost the fans. Such a tragedy at a young age. 31. I remember my days. <laughs> On the live side of the news, looks like Flo Rida won't have to be worried about a thing after winning a whopping $82 million in a lawsuit against the energy drink company Celsius. He said that he was promised monies that he never received. Well, one thing's for sure, Flo Rida, you ain't gotta worry about your pockets ever being. No, 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 no. Also in the news, look like Young Thug says a Rico Suave isn't enough. Bring on more charges. As his co-defendant slid him a baggie. Nobody knew, although he thought, because the cop was on him like white on rice and apprehended the young man as well as Thugger. And come to find out that the baggie he slid him were Perkies. That's right, Percocets. Molly Percocets. Well, it looks like somebody's inmate won't be too happy when he gets back to the cell, especially after hearing that all the perks he promised are no show. Scandalous. Now it's time for trash news. In trash news, it looks like the P and P Diddy doesn't stand for Puffy. No, sir. The P and P Diddy stands for Pisser. That's right, Pisser Combs. Oh yeah, according to Young Miami, she loves a little rain shower of the golden kind. And who is she dating right now? P. Diddy. Don't believe me. Here's a little clip of her and Trina talking about pissy. Lord, what is it? No. <laughs> I can't say it. You got to. It say take a shot if you like golden showers, I do. Golden showers, meaning when the guy pees on you? Mm -hmm. Pee on you everywhere, you like it? I just like it. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's even grosser is that after the interview, she went on her Twitter and stated, I think about buying up P. Diddy's piss. I think I'll call it P. Diddy juice. It is so divine and does wonders for my skin. I'm even growing a little baby mustache. She said, I know you think it's sexy because you can't stay out of my box, period. Well, P. Diddy juice. All I can say is, I wish a bitch would. I wish a bitch would. Well, that's our time. Tune in next time with me, your anchor man, Dick Toucher here at the No Cap News, the news you can use. And remember, wash, rinse, and sanitize. This has been your anchor man, Dick Toucher. Now back to Pippi T at the No Cap Podcast. <laughs> Pisser Combs. Oh, hi, boy. I damn me, boy. I don't put nothing past Pup Daddy, boy. Yeah, boy. That fella wants to get in that allowance. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah, he got the he got the Dubai at the crib. He said, nigga, why I fly all the way to Dubai and piss on the bitch? Now I'll pay our ass right here, this money right here. It's an allowance. Here you go, baby. $33,000. That's your allowance. Fuck it up, boo. Ah, 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 ah. Come here. Come here. Yeah, let me piss on you. Yeah, I just woke up. I got a, I got a strong strain this morning. And I need to let it go. Yeah, I've been drinking that. I've been drinking that piss. <laughs> I've been drinking that pissy all night. Oh, you know, I love that pissy. Yeah. 
Come on, come on, come on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hurry up. Just, ah. Damn, it's, it's coming out strong. I told you. Eh, 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 eh. Take that, take that. Take that. Look here. Uh, well, all I gotta say is, uh, young Miami God. And you seen that little, if you seen the video, go watch that video of her. Yeah, when she in the bed talking about Puff and how she love him with the little baby that I guess all that pissing on your face give you hair. It's got a little baby mustache from all that piss. Yeah, piss makes the man look up. Yeah, that's that strong, that boy got that Puff Daddy piss, that's the ant ant piss. Yeah, that ant ant piss man give you a mustache like a motherfucker, baby, you got a whole mustache. Walk around here smelling like old piss. No matter what you do, if that if that nigga don't drink enough water, baby, you gonna be walking around this bitch smelling like a urinal, smelling like Walmart bathroom around this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> gonna call you young piss a. <laughs> decided to call it quit after 15 years of marriage. Uh, but it seemed kind of strange that she wanted to do so right when I lost my job. Mm. That sounds like the sound like motherfucker uh, took their time and they seen the opportunity. Anyway, let me get to this. They said, okay, if you let me, right when I uh, lost my job. And now I have no way of taking care of myself and I'm no longer in the house. I've been living on the street for the last couple of weeks and it seemed pretty cool at first, but now I realize I'm a grown man homeless and I need some help. Shine. A homeless grown man. Mm. Well, Bob, that wasn't no coincidence at the big left room, right when you lost your job. She already was looking for a reason, nigga, and that job letting you go was her ticket out of Yeah. Well, you give I like to call humbly. Yeah, nigga probably got to take it down and not cause maybe you a fucked up individual. And sometimes it takes shit away from you so you can see what's more important. Look here, man. We all go through something sometimes. It is what it is. Look here, I was homely at one point in time. Yeah, nigga was homely, boy. I done that thing with about two, three years, boy. I just couldn't sell dope. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Similar shit, you know what I'm saying? Got kicked out. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't had nothing at the time. You know what I'm saying? Young minded. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't thinking right. And I was out there. You know what I'm saying? And it took a minute to get my ass together, I'll tell you that. But when I did, you couldn't tell me shit. 
I tell you what, I wasn't no begging ass nigga either. I might have broken the bitch high too, and I did. I might have did something I didn't want to do. But, you know, at the same time, man, you know, I understand the karma that came with everything that I went through. You know what I mean? So, it's a, it's a hard lesson to learn, man, being out there on that street. So, I wouldn't advise you to, uh, to stay there long if you are able to listen to me. Go to a shelter with all this shit they got now. Go to a Salvation Army or, or a place, you know what I'm saying, where you can get yourself together while you gather yourself, you know what I'm saying? You can go find a job that way you can get you a couple of checks and go get to a hotel or small efficiency house room or whatever the hell it is and do right by yourself. It's time to clean up, man, when you're fucked up. And wake up the old, wake up a you that you ain't, we ain't never seen before and get rid of the old shit. That's what it is. New time, new day and age, time to get up and get out and go do something. But I'm sorry for your homelessness, man, right now. And that, that kind of hit home with me, kind of hurt me here to hear those words from anybody going through that type of thing. Because that thing right there, boy, if you ain't got no good, strong mindset, it will break the shit out of you. I've seen people start doing some strange shit just to go eat. I've seen people, you know what I'm saying, doing some strange shit just to go eat or just to get that fixed. You know, being out there, man, you know, it opens your mind out to life, to a, up to a life that you wouldn't, didn't even much know exists. And once you find that exists, you don't you must want to be a part of that life. And you realize it quick, like this ain't for me. I'm out here and I ain't much gotta be, I gotta figure out a way how to, how to not be out here. I pray for those who are out there on that struggle, but those who are going through it because you I enjoyed y'all time. Right here at the No Cap with your boy Pippa T. Is there anybody that live, love, and laugh and take care of yourself? Give yourself a chance to get over the things that you're going through. Laugh at yourself. Tell yourself it's okay. God got me. One way or another, I know he will make sure that I make it to where I need to be because he got his hand on me. God be the glory. Y'all take care of yourselves. It's your boy, Pimpin' has been pimping. And we out of here, man. You know what I'm talking about? But before we go, we gonna leave you with some philosophy. Yeah, from the smoke room with our brother, Chief E. Islow. Hope you got some good game for you to start your day off right. Until then, yo, do to the old minus one, take care of yourself, and be blessed in your day. Now it's time to lock up in the smoke room with our smoke philosopher. Did you know that eating booty hole causes cerebral palsy in your throat? It's when your neck get all loose and serpent like. You be looking like that character off of Naruto or Rachiramaru. So the next time you down there getting you some dookie love, you might want to think about that. And this has been a Pimpy T's Playhouse production. Decision. It's my prerogative. They say I'm a thing. I really